what we get. So you need to get the nose down. Yeah. Right now you got the right, then when, when do we get our clearance to land? It's uh, about... Uh, Depth Blue 10, you are clear to land. Wind's still 35015. Clear to land, Jeff. Three miles and six hundred meters. That's a seven meter ship. Oh, yeah. Can I read the right thing? Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Fucking doesn't kick my ass. You'll be right. No, you'll be fine. It's your first island. Five hundred. Minus altitude awareness. Let me know you're getting towards the ground. Gotcha. Is that a predefined call out? Or it is. Okay. It's predefined. Now that number count down below there to 2300, that's your radar, radar altimeter. Yeah. Okay. Be honest with you, Nancy, I couldn't do this every day. It's tiring. It's the blocks. I know, it's, uh, it's tiring coming to work, but once I get going, it's, it goes fast. Mm -hmm. Especially with new hires, we have so much to show them in a very short period of time. All right, so. You're doing a hell of a job. Um, you're not going to do, again, not do anything with thrust. When I say, when you hear it say 50, you're going to ease slowly. You don't want to jam them, just ease the thrust back to idle, which will be the idle 10. And when I say flare, you're just going to slow, look, again, look down the runway and slowly bring the stick towards you. Gotcha. As soon as the mains touch down, you're going to fly the nose down because it will pop up on you. Yep. No, I'm just watching the same thing he is. You'd be like, monitoring and you're also looking for approach lights. Okay. And approach lights means you're going to continue. Yeah. Here. You know, they don't call, they actually do an altitude check there to okay. make sure that everything looks good. Okay, do we get a, do we get an audio for that or no? No, you'd say 16 how, uh, what is this, uh, 1600. And the, if he agrees that he's within 100 feet, he'll respond, check. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And what you're basically doing now is monitoring that he's what we call stabilized approach. Mm -hmm. Below a thousand feet, AGL, they have to have met you within certain parameters for low glide slope, airspeed, and altitude. Okay. Airspeed. Okay. Yeah. Nancy said it's true. As soon as you look up, the airplane's going to follow you up. That's okay. one of the hardest tendency. And even seasoned guys do it when I do the one All right, so this is when the hand's going to go on the thrust levers. Okay. You never know what happens down low. We got approach, Rhino. Impressive. Okay. That flashing is the strobes in the clouds. Um, that's what you're saying. Our center has that. I, All so right. you, they don't call ground contact. That's a leftover call from one of my other jobs. Um, so right. we're looking for pro approach okay, lights. Approach lights inside, and inside and inside I'd now. say runway, and you'd say landing if you see it. Okay. Go right back inside. Stay in those two minutes. And the same thing as that display stuff. 500. Brace, brace. Hundred above. Minimum. This way you can start going a little bit inside and out. Just don't pick your lift your hand with your head. Gotcha. And start looking down the runway. Okay. Start pull up, power back to idle slowly. 30. Flare, bring it back very slowly. Retard. Hold it, hold it right Retard. there. Power to idle. Oh, you floated it. That's all right, keep the nose up. Oh, keep it, keep it, keep it. All right, nose down, put the nose down. Put the nose down, nose down. All right, ground spoilers. Here's your reverses if you came out. That wasn't bad. That hurt. You just broke the tail. Oh. If, if the sim doesn't come off motion, you did all right. Holy oh shit. Oh my and god. And you always get back to the center line. We never accept yeah. being left or right. Get over here. <laughs> <laughs> so my